Hi, so I'm in bi mode today because it's time to talk about bisexual coming out news for September 2016. And we have a lot of names to get to, so I'm gonna get started. Ava Katowski. And I'm sure a lot of you are going right now, who the hell is Ava Katowski? While others are going, Ava, yes, Ava. Well, Ava Katowski is a YouTuber. She has a channel called My Life is Ava. And uh, she does comedy videos, which are sometimes DIY and always relatable to the, di to the digital generation. She has 7 million subscribers, which is nice, which is good, but more importantly, her videos on average get 3 million views. That means that if she were a cable television show in the United States, every single week she would be in the top 10 rated cable television shows, and quite often she would be number one in the cable ratings in the United States of America. She gets a lot of viewers, and she's charming and funny and self-deprecating and all the rest. She's a delight. So how did this happen? Well, August 31st, she sent out a series of tweets which read, I am ready for myself to fall in love with someone no matter who they end up being, and I have been since I was 12. Boy or girl. Why would you limit your love to half of what it could be based off of being scared to not be normal? No, love is for everybody to share. Let yourself love whoever you fall in love with. Don't let your brain decide what boundaries your emotions have. Accepting yourself as bisexual is not pledging to be different. It's pledging to be honest. Well, Ava, you completely rock. And I thank you on behalf of all the bisexuals that have seen you and that watch you for being your authentic self. You are helping so many people. Who else is on the list for this month? Have you heard of the book Eat, Pray, Love by any chance? Uh, that was written by Elizabeth Gilbert and it was later made into a movie starring Julia Roberts. Elizabeth's story is famous because she chronicles it in the book Eat, Pray, Love, a sensation, uh, where she was married to a man she got divorced, decided she made, needed to make a change in her life, so she went to Italy to eat as much as she wanted, then she went to India to pray as much as she could, and in the process of eating and praying, she fell in love with a man. And she came back, wrote the book, and lived happily ever after. Not quite. Um, actually, she stayed married up until this summer, in which case she divorced, and on Facebook, this month, she decided to share with her fans why it was she was divorced. She had long mentioned her best female friend, Rhea. Uh, she, they talked together, they traveled together, they were the best of friends. And sadly, very recently, Rhea was diagnosed with pancreatic and liver cancer. And for those of you who are familiar with it, uh, you might know that for a lot of people that is a death sentence and that's the way they took it and it was a wake-up call for Elizabeth and it made her realize something in which case she shared it with her fans on Facebook and it, and it reads I do not merely love Rhea I am in love with Rhea I have no more time for denying that truth the thought of someday sitting in a hospital room with her holding her hand and watching her slide away without ever having her or myself know the extent of my true feelings for her well, that thought was unthinkable. So in that action, um, she has proven that she has the ability to love, at least romantically, other women. And of course, she very famously has stated many times how she was able to love a man. So although Elizabeth Gilbert has not used the term bisexual, she has shown that she has the capacity um, of either romantic or sexual love for more than one gender. So welcome aboard, Elizabeth, uh, and our hearts go out to you during this difficult time. Next, we have Lord Ivar Mountbatten. You might ask, who is Lord Ivar Mountbatten? Well, he is the first member of the British royal family to ever come out. And what did he come out as? He specifically came out as bisexual. His story begins um, in some time, well actually he begins in his teens, but he said that he knew from back when he was a teenager that he was bisexual. Back in the early 90s, he met the person who had become his wife, and he very openly told her that he was bisexual, but they got married anyway. Um, that was in 1994. 
They stayed married until 2012, in which case they divorced. And afterwards, he entered into a relationship with a man. He could have kept it private. He could have run around with him. He could have also just lived his life with that man and not say anything. But at 53 years old, he decided to do an interview with a British newspaper coming out and making it official that even if you are in a conservative family, even if you live in a conservative place, you can still come out as bisexual and it will not ruin your life. You know what? People don't give enough credit to if someone to someone if they, you know, are of a a position of, you know, prominence in terms of money, in terms of status and all that stuff. But this person who had really not a ton to gain by coming out came out. And I believe it's because he is showing everybody that even if you are of a conservative background, even if you are of a, of a community that may not seem the most accepting, it is still safe for you to come out and it's still safe for you to be authentic to who you are. So really, sincerely, thank you, Lord Ivar, for being exactly who you are and for showing us just how safe it is to be bisexual. And finally, uh, the one that brings me so much joy, Wonder Woman has come out as bisexual. And some of you might say, oh no, I heard about this. She came out as queer, didn't she? At least the writer who um, writes Wonder Woman Rebirth identified her as queer. <sighs> sadly, and this will lead to next week's video, but sadly, I feel that this is a situation of bi-erasure and biphobia. Here's the situation you decide for yourself. The um, writer who, inter the interviewer who interviewed Greg Rutka, who is the writer of Wonder Woman Rebirth, asked him a very specific question. He asked, is Wonder Woman queer? And Greg, being very thoughtful and very wise about it, said, hey, you are an openly gay male uh, person. I am a straight white dude. So your definition of queer might be different from mine. So please define for me what you think queer is. And the gay male says queer, basically, I am paraphrasing, is either gay or bisexual. And then Greg says, well, by that definition, then yes, one woman is queer. But then Greg goes on to really clarify what he means. Because Greg believes that one woman is clearly bisexual. He says that first you have to, you have to think about what Themyscira is. Themyscira is the island that, that Wonder Woman grew up on. It's, it's also known as Paradise Island. It is paradise. It's supposed to be paradise. It has to be paradise. So on paradise, people have to be able to do the things that you know a normal life will do that it's supposed to be our version of paradise so they get into relationships and they're only women on the island so wonder woman who had to have been experiencing paradise for this whole story to work had to have been in relationships with women and greg says that in his mind wonder woman has been in at least two relationships with women so what happens uh steve trevor um ends up coming onto the island. He's a man, Wonder Woman meets him, Princess Diana, or Diana, Diana Prince, I should say, um, sees him and kind of falls for him to a certain degree and decides to leave the island. Now, Greg believes that <laughs> Wonder Woman has to be bisexual in order for her to be a hero. Why is that? Because if Wonder Woman was not in happy relationships with women prior to that, if one woman wasn't having a complete life on Paradise Island, then she would be leaving the island just to be with a man. And how unheroic is that? So not only is that the case, but on top of that, this hero's tale is one in which someone has to give up something they care about a great deal in order to, in order to sacrifice others. So in order for her to be sacrificing something up um, that she means, that means a lot to her. It can't just be her family. It can't just be, you know, her mother or her sisters. It has to be she's giving up this whole great thing, including relationships, in order to go off and do something selfless. So there you have it. Does that make a uh, Wonder Woman queer? In my opinion, it really does not. I'll talk about that in next week's video. But um, it does 100% make Wonder Woman bisexual and also it makes me have to uh re kind of list my top my characters my top 100 bisexual sci-fi characters of all times list 
What a horrible problem to have, right? <laughs> um, but that's it. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, please check out um, my t-shirts on the Amazon store. Buy mode is one of them, but all of them are t-shirts that you can wear without having to build up your courage before you do. You know, there are sayings, there are cute images, um, but they're all stuff that some people might get, some people won't get, but you can express your bisexuality with them, and they're kind of cool. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I do many videos on bisexual topic, but I don't do them on a regular basis. But I do do them frequently, so that means that when you want to know when a new video comes out, you have to click on that little no notification switch that says, let me know when a new video comes out. And then until the next video, stay cooler, my bisexual friend. Stay cooler. <laughs> Bye.